These grade 7 students admit before this year they didn't know a lot about money. I just thought you had to pay the rent and you live in the house and food, but there's bill, transportation and everything. I realized that it's really important to like uh, to save up money. Students in grades 4 to 7 at Spruce Court Public School have been learning about financial literacy and they're getting another lesson from financial guru Gail Vaz Oxlade. What you have to do is you have to decide what your priorities are. The Money Maven hosts two shows on Slice, Till Debt Do Us Part and Princess. So she says it's important to learn money matters when you're young. All you have to do is look at the mess our society is in, the amount of debt we're carrying, the lack of savings that we have, to see why we need to start teaching our children about money early. Canada's debt to income ratio is more than 150 percent, meaning for every dollar of after-tax income, many owe more than $1.50 in debt. It's also estimated the average debt of a graduating university student is more than $27,000. If that grad paid approximately $260 each month, it would take about 15 years to pay it off. If you can get part-time work, make other choices to try and minimize that expense, definitely try to avoid um, you know, too much consumer credit in your university days, then you're going to leave with much less debt. Financial literacy may not be part of your child's homework each night, but experts say children learn the most about money from their family at home. Every time you go into a store and you say, oh, this is just a beautiful blouse, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. You're teaching your child a lesson, okay, as opposed to, you know what, this is something I want but it's not something I need right now. Just one of the lessons to help children manage their money for years to come. Jennifer Palasok, Global News.